Hi, everyone. Welcome to Crafty Crew. Uh, let's see, it's the first week of February. And at story time this week, we talked about Groundhog's Day and what Phil did down in Pennsylvania. Are we really going to have six more weeks of winter? Oh. Um, we talked about Chinese New Year's, which is next week. Valentine's Day is also coming up, so it was hard to squeeze everything in together. But this week's craft is on Chinese New Year's, and we're going to make a Chinese dragon. Um, Chinese, the Chinese people believe that dragons are magical, so you'll often see them or pictures of them uh, around, around um, boy, I really can't talk today. <laughs> around celebrations for the Lunar New Year, which is Chinese New Year's. Um, so you should have a small bag with a toilet paper roll and some eyeballs. I already got mine ready. I made, I actually didn't paint mine. I put some tissue paper around him. I glued it on. I gave them some fire because dragons usually have fire. And I cut these little slits out and put the eyeballs on them so they kind of stand out. So I'm going to switch the camera so that you can see what I'm doing on the table. You're going to need a ruler and some paper. Hopefully you still have construction paper. If you don't, send me an email and I will send some home for you. Um, a glue stick. I already measured my paper and I made my strips big so that you would be able to see what I was doing. So mine are an inch and a half. You don't necessarily have to have them that big. But you're going to need to cut out some strips of paper to make the dragon's body. And you can use any color you want. At Chinese New Year's, um, colors that are considered lucky are red and yellow. You'll see a lot of Chinese New Year's decorations in those two colors. Um, also green. So I made my dragon green. And I'm, I'm all out of yellow construction paper. So I'm using red and white. So I cut my strips out. And now what I'm going to do is I need one to go this way and one to go this way. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue right there. This is a good exercise for your fingers because you're going to be doing a lot of folding. And if you look on the paper in your craft bag, you will see a link to a website that has all kinds of Chinese New Year's crafts. And this one is also on there. So you'll be able to look at pictures on how they do this. And now all you're going to do is fold this. What do you think? That's pretty easy, right? And essentially what you're going to do is overlap them. I'm doing mine fast. To keep them together, I would put a dot of glue in each one. They stay together like that. You don't really have to do that. They should stay together as long as you glue the beginning and the end. You can also, when you get to the end, if you want to put a different color in there, now that I'm at the end, if I wanted a different color, I could glue it onto here and I could make this longer. And this essentially, see the colors? I have a red side and a white side. Um, this essentially becomes the body of the dragon. So if you wanted to make him very long, you would use another strip, two strips. And keep going. So fold it over and over. And then back over, back over again. And you 
just keep folding it until you have a really long body. Now this I would glue to this one. So it was like this. Let's see how long it is now. Whoops, I pulled it too tight. Uh, this is red, so I want to go a white one on there. And I'm going to glue this red one on there. You might need to do a little bit of trimming if your paper sticks over. See there, I have an, a longer body form. And what you're going to do at the end is you're going to take your paper and you're going to glue the strips into your dragon. There. My glue wasn't dry, so I don't have the very long body. I guess I need some more glue in there too, don't I? The glue stick will work really well on this craft. I'm going to trim mine a little bit. And then I'm going to put some more glue. I'm going to tuck it inside. There we go. How's that? Pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to switch the cameras again. There we go. I'll move that one out of the way. So there's my dragon. There's this fire. I have my eyeballs. He has little nose holes in there. And this is his body. And like I said, you can keep going, make different colors. When you get to the end, if you want to give them a tail, you might want to cut that so it looks more like a tail. Move that piece down and trim it. Mine kept falling apart, so I took it off so I could show you. But this piece would glue to this piece. And that piece would get glued down, and then you'd have a little tail. Show me how long you can do yours. You could send me some measurements. We'll see who has the longest dragon. There you go. Cover my glue stick up so it doesn't dry out. So that was this week's craft for Chinese New Year's. Next week, we'll be doing a craft for Valentine's Day. So I will see you then. Have fun. Happy New Year. Do you know how to say Happy New Year in Chinese? I can say it in Mandarin. I don't remember what it is in Cantonese. Hmm, I should remember that. Hmm. In Mandarin, it's, let me think, Xin Ye Kuai La. And I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong, but you could look it up. I'll see you later. Have a good week. See you next week. Bye.